Hello, welcome back to the uh, let's play of the Avengers of the Goldhawk, Dark Moon's Curse. Yay! Yay, which is the Yay. first book still. Because it's a long book. It's got like pictures in it as well. Yeah. It's, and it's words. I, I'm not used to reading books with words in. Yeah, me, me neither. I don't, I don't even know how to read. What am I doing? I don't, I don't know how you've managed up to this point. So, hello. Anyway, who's here for this part? R roll call. It, Go. It's, it's Kukarski here. And it's Jolie Black. Hello, people! <laughs> Strange new person! <gasps> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. So, uh, this time we are starting at 13 because uh, most of you were actually kind to us and didn't want to get a game over, which was very nice, so we've gone to Yay! 13 to both the other one. So, we will be starting in a second. Glad to be out of the forest at last, you walk with a spring in your step. You, you really should get that um, looked at being removed. Must be annoying. Look, I'm the rated here. Do you want to fight about this? <laughs> well, I'm the one with the no, sword. Look, I, I can change pig. this book to make your life miserable, you metal pig man. <laughs> But, but, hmm. Orlando then gets scorched. <laughs> anyway, much to the annoyance of Orlando, who is difficult to keeping up because he has mm. tiny legs and his legs are going to get tiny if he doesn't shut the hell up. <laughs> Travelling westwards, you come to a valley. No smart ass comment? No? Good, good, good. Your, Orlando's legs shrink even more. <laughs> in, it, in it is a village which hangs a soft purple haze sparkling in the sunshine. Uh, I don't. I don't like the look of that purple haze. Looks kind of. Uh, was that name of a Hendrix song? Probably. Not that Hendrix yeah. exists in Fantasyland. <laughs> yeah, it's the name of. Well, actually, of he does exist in Fantasyland. It is, isn't it? It is. Mm, it is Good. about drugs. <laughs> yeah. Well, this probably sums mm. up this entire bit pretty I well. I wonder if this has any foreshadowing. <laughs> anyway, Pig, it's your go. Westwater, I presume. That was quite cheerful, but um, you enter oh. the village and are immediately surrounded by cheering elves who recognise you as the prince. Hang on a minute, how do they recognise you as the prince? Do I look like the prince, or didn't they just chuck armour on me? Yeah, no, no, you look exactly like the prince. That's you have a little icon above your well, head. Well, what, happened the was, what happened was, what happened was, while you were while you were under the effects of the disorientation of the magic, Maris surgically placed all this plastic surgery on your face. He's right over there. I didn't think he would notice, since there's no mirrors in the kingdom. Well, don't give it away, pig. <laughs> you know what will happen. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't be so happy if they knew I was a dwarf, what with the war over the sparkly scone. That was a terrible war. Well, Many... I thought it was just because they were racist bastards. Well, what's that you've got in your hand there? That's the sparkly scone, Maris! Um, oops. Thousands I may have instigated a race died. war between two people. My bad. Thousands of people were killed! Women and children! It looks good on my shelf? You're eating it, aren't you? It looks good on my shelf, too. <laughs> the elves invite you to meet their leader, and you follow them to nearby glade where the purple haze surrounds a lemon tree. This is getting <laughs> weird, I'm a bit. Sitting on oh, a morning feeling... wooden throne and reading a book, probably some sort of erotic fiction, is a beautiful young woman. Uh, well, that's all a matter of opinion. I don't think the narrator has seen many women, because if we look to the next page, uh... <laughs> no. Thanks well, very much. <laughs> she's um. She's is is she a woman? She could be. I mean, what's wrong with her nose? Uh, well, you know the her <laughs> up the nose thing. I think is probably. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, lemons. Lemons. That's it. Yes, lots of <laughs> lemons that get frequently done in bathrooms. You know, on someone's back. Le uh, uh, the purple and green. If you look green. in the bottom right corner. You can see a rolled up five pound note on the floor. I don't think you're being honest there. I might be lying. I'm the narrator, I can do what I want. She has a wonderfully happy smile, she does. <laughs> well, when you're snorting lemons, that sort of stuff happens. She should probably quit snorting lemons if you catch my drift. Anyway, I'm, I'm the narrator, not her counsellor, so never mind. And you suddenly realise that all the lemons on the tree are smiling too. It is quite an extraordinary sight. Shortly afterwards, Prince Goldhawk realised that the purple haze was infectious, and he was indeed tripping balls. You are tripping balls! Luckily, oh my I god, I'm tripping but... balls! And plus I am immune. And luckily the pig is also immune. Because he's a pig. And he can't smell anything. Or snort anything. Well, cause he's actually a pig. I, I can, but because I'm a pig, I'm immune to drugs. My life is miserable. Orlando then realised that his legs got slightly smaller again. This way I'll be rolling around everywhere. Rolling around at the speed of sand, maybe. I think you stole that from a hedgehog, didn't you, Orlando? No. I think you did. I don't think I did. I think you should apologise to the hedgehog. So, I'm sorry, but you should be sorry for 06. 
I don't think the hedgehog has a rebuttal for that one, so we'll continue on. You're right, Prince. I am Lady Helena. I understand that you come seeking my help. Dark Moon and his orcs are our enemy too. Ask and I will do what I can. Uh, I do have a question. All questions are handled by our customer service department. Just a small question? Nope. So, uh, wait, is the customer service department the person there that looks like he's eating a tree? Maybe it is the tree. Maybe I should ask the tree. Maybe you should pick up that five-pound note. Well, if we ask the tree, he'll be barking on for hours. Orlando realised that he was now about to get scorched. <laughs> Stupid pig. <laughs> Goldhawk tells Lady Helena that he is searching for the Golden Hand Wristlet, which he has been told is hidden in the Howling Tunnels. The Golden Hand. That is a very strong magical article. It was stolen from us elves many years ago. It would be useless for you to try and use it without knowing its secret. What is a secret? Why does it have a secret? Please refer to our customer service department. Damn it! Oh, I'm gonna go talk to the tree. <laughs> tree! It's Drop not answer it. Oh, oh, oh. oh, tree. Oh. 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 Where's, not, where's an axeman when you need him? Not here. <laughs> Be sure you wear it on your right wrist. Remember that. Remember wait, 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 it. wait, 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 wait. Like, I'm supposed to wear it on my right wrist only. Your right wrist. My right wrist. So, so, so not the left wrist. It's not the left. So, out of interest, you, you made some sort of magical artifact that if I put it on my left wrist, something terrible will happen. So basically you're shafting lefties, is that right? Oh, well, I see how it is. Documentation for detail. I don't have the documentation. Wait, I need wait. answers. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me. Oh, oh, well, I'll be joved. I may be a talking sword, but she's right. Article 7, subsection uh, C. Edge, how do you turn pages? Well, it's... There's not, much of the sword. Page, There's not much of the sword left anymore. Edge, you don't have hands. No, no. No need to make a point about it. Are you making a sword pun? Maybe. Don't make me stab you. How will you stab me? With my other sword. You don't have any other swords. I'll ask the narrator to give me one. Oh, I see. Oh, I, I see. Do, I do this, I'm fine. Right? I'm fine until you want a little bit of a furora with a short sword, and then you just gallivant off with. Look, you show me up in front of the elf. <laughs> God. I am sure that you will also need some protection for your journey. Here, take this garlic, which will guard against the undead. Not a helmet, then. Or some better armor that isn't made out of gold. Or maybe. a shield. Or. Or <laughs> bone arrow, perhaps. Or a wand made of the fast fireballs, or... Or a necklace that protects against stabbing. Or a magic flying horse. Or getting rid of that wizard that's following me everywhere. Or a magic carpet. Teleportation device. Bombs. Legolas. Rupees. Gimli. Garlic. Ah. Uh. Well... Okay. It is useful in the sense that you can also use it for cooking. But if you do use it for cooking, you won't be able to use it against the undead. Why does it smell vaguely of lemons? Are you sure mm. this is garlic? It's definitely garlic. Alright then. Anything else? Please refer to our customer service department. Oh, tree! Edge, can I stab the elf? Well, I don't know. I think it might affect me if you stab her. I mean, she must have been snorting so many lemons that her blood is probably lemon. Disturbing. Hmm. She's more lemon now than... No! Elf. Don't you dare. <laughs> oh. And drink this potion of good fortune to bring you good luck. Follow your heart and you will win over the evil that threatens us all. You sure you want to drink that? I'm not sure, to be honest. What, what's in it? Lemons. Seems like something's living in it. But yeah, but your lemons have faces on them. Please refer to the ingredients instructions for advice. Oh, let's, let's have a look here. Uh... Lemons, okay. uh, expunged, expunged, classified, oh. expunged, expunged. That's not good. Moon dust, mm -hmm. expunged, right. human, human, expunged. Wait. Oh, it seems pretty safe to me. Lemons and humans. <laughs> I've had worse. I've drinking strongbow. <laughs> Science pig. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you keep blasting me? Because I lost my crow. No, he's over there. Oh wait, he's a bit dead. Yes, I scorched him. 
A lot. Although if I poke his brain, he twitches slightly. <laughs> Howling winds! Excellent. Yeah. Let this strange baked elf woman continue. But first, you must go to a place of evil itself. I am unable to name that place for contractual reasons. But if you count the lemons on my tree, you will know where to go. Farewell, my prince. Uh, I know you're probably going to direct me to forums or places like this, but uh, how will a number let me know where to go? Please refer to customer service with any issues you Edge. may have. Yeah. Shank the elf. Edge. Ew. Shank the elf. I don't want to shank the elf. Do it. But, but, but can't I shank one of the other elves? As long as it's an elf, I'm not racist. Oh, look, there's an elf over there. All murder committed against elves will void your warranty. Mm, fine. I'll just take the stupid person and leave. Oh, thanks, elf lady. Let's go. But wait, we haven't counted the lemons in the extremely common... It's not going to help us go anywhere. No, Let's no, just go no, back to the other way. No, 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 this. Look, look, look. You see that sign that's shifting and kind of transforming into a horse? It uh, says... I think you've been around the purple haze too long. No, no, it's it's funny. Try it's not to inhale too much. It's telling me to go on the magical adventure. Magical adventure. Thanks, elf lady. I'm going to take my pig and leave. Come on, pig. Oh, magical adventure. And you, stupid sword. I'm not stupid. You don't have hands. That doesn't make me stupid. It does now. But if I had hands, I'd be a very handy blade to have around. Narrator, can you uh, can you shrink him for me? Gladly. Edge shrinks five feet. I wasn't even five feet to begin with. Edge is now invisible. That's cool. I'm an invisible shanking blade. And has no voice. <laughs> Onwards. Count the lemons on the tree and go to the section with that number, taking with you the <coughs> fond <coughs> memories of the, uh, the beautiful Lady Helena. Well, I think this book might be biased. I don't think I'm getting paid enough to read this. Wait, let me try and count the trees. One lemon. Count the trees. Two, really? Yeah. Ready? One tree. There well you done. Go. Well done. You can't. You can't even see what is in the picture. It's a tree. One well, tree with many the, lemons. The magical horse tells me to count the trees. Count the damn lemons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eight. What a coincidence! It's the exact number that we would have gone to had we not have gone here. So, what we basically learned from this then mm. is that we've gained a potion of good fortune. Yep. What's it give us? Good fortune. That's it, isn't it? Yes. An undisclosed good fortune. Don't we get any skill ups? Lazy. Mm -hmm. And we got some cooking equipment. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And the fond memories. I will, the I will shove some the garlic in my pocket. That will make and, me a pleasant and person. And the fond memories of the beautiful lady Helena. Helena? Helena. You said her. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. It's I that blue. You. It's that purple haze. Let's go before the haze takes us all. To 19. At the foot of the hills, you come to a village which is what almost hills? hidden by shadows. At the foot of the hills. It's obviously the only hills here. <laughs> the only hills in the entire land. Yeah, this is called Hillington. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not. Look, look, I'm reading this. Are you? No. Exactly. Shut the hell up. Mm. A weather-beaten sign reads, Eastwater, now called Hillington. Strangers not welcome. <laughs> but you decide to go on. Entering the village of Hillington, you can sense at once that the people living here are scared of something. Hills, mainly. Yes, and tons. A few people hurry past, and no one stops to speak to you. That's because you've got garlic in your pocket. <laughs> well, <laughs> Goldhawk is very smelly, and is probably <laughs> high, high as fuck. But you know. A bell tolls, its deep chime sending a shiver down your back. From an open upstairs window, you hear a worried voice cry out. The hour is come! The hour and the beast! Beast is come! Lock all your doors! I eat your cream tea! The beast! Beast! Was that about cream tea? Hmm, sounds nice. Maybe I'll drop my garlic for it. Mm, oh, wait, man. something about a beast. Oh, oh yeah. I don't think that you want to go down that alley. Oh, I think that down that alley on the left. On the left, there's something that you don't want to meet. You're going to go down there, aren't you? Because you're high as heck. What's that talking pig? Yes, alleyways. Let's go. 
Oh no. And all at once the streets are deserted, with not a soul in sight. A frightening roar breaks the silence and you draw your sword. Oh! You've drawn me again, I see! Wait, I thought you weren't allowed to talk anymore. Well, yes, I had been trying to be invisible and silent, but Maris thought it would be more annoying if I was both full-size, talking, and immune to transformation. I thought it'd be rather amusing to irritate the shit out of you, Godhawk, because that's how I roll. In it. <laughs> no, no comments from the pig? Will. The only comment. <laughs> Excellent. I know that I've already warned you about the ominous uh, alleyway down in the left, but I can't stop you, can I? You're gonna go down there. Look, Talking Pig, I'm gonna go down the alleyway. I'm gonna investigate with my sword. Eh? And I'm gonna go down the alleyway. What about the strange growling and the ominous death? That's just my stomach, you don't need to worry. What? We're doomed. Let's go. That's me walking down the alleyway. That is terrible. Goldhawk walks boldly to the end of the alley and meets a hideous monster wearing a battered chainmail coat. It That's has better armor than yours. It is actually, because Goldhawk is wearing gold. And as everyone knows, gold is absolutely shit at anything defensive. It also weighs a metric crap ton. Has anyone ever tried to hold gold? Anyone? You, pig? No. You, Goldhawk? It is rather heavy, but I just thought this was normal. No, you're an idiot. You shouldn't be wearing gold armor. When you kill the beast, take off the gold armor, wear the chainmail. We clear? Pig? Well, uh, no, I do have one problem with that. Um, when the armor was being put on you, I definitely heard him riveting screws into your back. There is a reason why you're trading blood the entire adventure. Oh, I, I didn't read that in the book. Um, oh, oh dear. Uh, oh well, un unfortunately then, Goldhawk, you're uh, you're screwed. Sorry. Damn. <laughs> Never mind. Let's don't. We got to walk boldly down this alleyway now. Let's walk. Well, go on then, walk. I can't. This waste waste too much. <laughs> I'll push you then. <laughs> oh, but the monster, oh. by the way, it also has a skull head with terrifying long jaw. Terrifyingly long jaw. Which has a steady stream of foul liquid drips. What kind of liquid? Um, looks like orange juice. Better than lemons. That's bloody lemons. <laughs> oh, I mean, I'm oh, sorry. I'm meant to be scared. It's the skull beast. <laughs> I hope it hates the taste of tin pigs. Will protect me. Don't you worry. Oh, skull beast! Damn, I wondered where that got to. Uh, I left it at the door unlocked the other night, and then it went out and ate some peasants, and oh dear, what a mess. You know, it's I just realised half this is probably bloody problems my fault, really. Well, it's quite interesting, actually, that this thing's only been here one day, Maris, and already they've come up with this regimented system of hiding and bells and everything. Well, to be fair, it is quite fearsome. Have you seen it? I mean, yes. to be fair, I'd be ringing bells and running away if that thing came after me. Just saying. Except you, except you own it. Well, yes, it's like my pet, isn't it? The only problem is that very strange noise it makes when it feasts. What would that be? Kind of like... Pfft. Hmm, indeed. That is rather peculiar. Flee! Fighting is worked out by means of dice rolls, which I'm sure you've worked out by now, since this is probably the fourth time we've done this. The Skull Beast has a skill of eight. You attack first, and you also have a skill of eight. Unless nope. it's changed earlier in the venture. We have a skill of nine, because we drank the snake sap. Mmm, yeah. Roll two dice! I'm gonna roll two dice! I got a seven. You got a seven? Yeah, it's not enough. It's not enough. Oh dear. Uh. If the total of two dice is eight or higher, which is not, you slay the Skullbees. If the total total roll is seven or less, you can watch your attack. Roll both dice again this time for the Skullbees. <laughs> That's great! What, Brilliant! What number? Got a 10. You got a d you're trying to kill us. Alright, let's uh, <laughs> go 19B. Alright. The Skull Beast's long claws are razor sharp, and its vicious swipe catches you on the neck. Reduce your skill by one. So you start bleeding profusely as blood splurts out of your neck. It, this is a fantasy book, so of course I put a plaster on it, it is absolutely fine. 
You stagger backwards and fall to the ground, and the raging beast closes in for the kill. If you have a ring of lightning, go to 19C. If you do not have this ring, go to 19D. Luckily, since we do have a ring of lightning, we go to 19C. Yay! Just as the skull beast is about to strike again, you rub the ring. A bolt of lightning shoots out from the ring and slams into the terrible beast. It drops to the ground like a stone, stopping dead in its track. Question! Oh. Yes? How do you kill something made of bones with lightning? The chainmail insulates well. It's still made of bones. You're made of bones. Get up. I'm not. Made of tin. No, made of bones. Get up. I'm not. I don't, look, I'm narrating this. I can call you whoever I want. Mm. You're now a bony... What can you be? You're a bony turd. Now leave. Mm. Anyway, before I was interrupted by the bony turd. Holding your wounded neck, you must decide what to do. If you want to take a close look at the skull beast's body, go to 19E. If you want to walk back to the main street, go to 12. Since we're scabby, we're going to go to 19E. Yeah, losing! In which case, your search reveals six gold pieces, which you put in your pouch before walking back to the main street. They Question. were mine! The little bastard stole them! Oh well. I suppose gold I could have. I need to give him ten after all. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. Better follow them, I suppose. It is not long before you find yourself walking past the dirty window of a small shop. It is crammed full of weird and wonderful things. Strange weapons, jars of teeth, dusty old books, fifty shades of grey, clay pots, <laughs> carpets with odd patterns on them, and other stuff are piled high, and they look like they haven't been touched in years. And pogs. And pogs. Loads and loads of pogs. And those Star Wars Tazos that everyone collected. I don't like those. I had all those. I still yeah. do, somewhere. <laughs> But this narrator's getting nostalgic. You decide to enter the shop, even though the sign says closed. The second you walk in, the old man says, Fuck off! And you have to walk out again. It is closed, after all. Wait, I'm sorry, that's not what happened. I just made that up. A bell yes. rings as you open the door, and a man with not much hair and a shiny forehead that stretches right over the top of his head pops up from behind the counter. He wears a frown that never seems to lead his face. Can't you read? Have you got a head of lead, or is my name not Dome Head? <laughs> I'm such Wait, a your, your name is Domehead? Yes! Who I'm named so you that? I changed my name just for that pun! Your, your name is Domehead. So what was your real name? Fred. Fred's a bit better, to be honest. I run this shop! This shop is closed! And nothing is for sale anyway. I don't... If, if you want to ask Domehead if he would like to swap anything, go to 12A. If you want to ask him about the Howling Tunnels, go to 12D. And since, like I said, we've been scabbing stuff, we're going to go to Swarovski. Now you're talking! I love swapping! What have you got to trade? No, no, Perhaps I'm not in the whole swinging thing, don't what, about, okay. what about that armor made of solid gold? No, I need that. I'm kind of fastened in. But I could trade you it for this fantastically magical suit of armor that does absolutely everything you could possibly need. Oh, damn it. Why am I screwed into this thing anyway? Oh, that's such a shame. <sighs> I, I've got a post of invisibility. I've mm. got a ring of ice. Well, I know one of those that doesn't sound very useful. Do you want the ring? Why would you want a potion of invisibility? I don't think that you should trade that. I think I might keep that. I, I mean, I've heard stories about the women I mean, in the castle. I mean, you, I... you definitely should not trade that potion. No, no particular reason. Have you been reading further ahead? <laughs> no, no! Why would I do that? He's been reading further ahead, narrator. I think you should scorch him. I think I should. What can I scorch wait, him with? Wait, wait! Use this wand of tin pig scorcheratoning! Is that for free? Yes, why not? Just scorch the pig with it! Um, okay, let me just write something down here a minute. Goldhawk takes the uh, pig scorcher. Ah, oh, I'll take this. And then, he scorches the pig. Oh, I'll just scorch the pig. <coughs> oh, no! It's like a whole new world of pain! I like this scorching device. I'll keep this. Edge, put it in your hands. Unfortunately, it only has one charge. Edge, have you got it in your hands? I don't have any hands. Damn it, I thought he I'd had I'd be hands. a handy sword if I had some. Edge suddenly realises he's got no mouth again. <laughs> um, since I've already scorched the pig, um, I guess I'd give you the ring. Probably. Hmm, the ring. Hmm. For that, I will offer you a pair of elven boots. Worn by the famous elf Boot Bootington. Wait, wait, no, I, I've seen these elves. You, you can keep the boots. No, no, Those no, are just... my boots. Wait, wait. Get my boots back. How did you what get is... here? 
are you, you doing? following me? Are you stalking me? I have the magic power of transmutation. But you don't have magic boots anymore, do you? Don't you mean teleportation? Teleportation, that's the one. Yeah. Have you been huffing on your purple haze again? <sighs> Not at all. Not at all. Can I have a huff of your purple haze? There you go. Good cop, this stop. This is shit. Good I shit. I will also offer you it's this very, very good shit. Oh. I will also offer you. Well, it's totally. While they're totally baked, I could offer them any old crap. Uh, how about this m magic stick? I want a magic stick. As, yes. That's a good stick. That I'll have stick. that stick. It'd be good. What else can you give me for my magic ring? My, my lunch. Oh, oh, what about this mystical blue cheese? It doesn't seem very mystical to me. Oh, trust me, it is the most mystical of blue cheese. Look at all that mysticiness in it. It's oh, blue. he's right, you know. Look at that blue on it. Well, Does he have any crackers to go with it? I will throw in some complimentary crackers. Okay, <laughs> so we got us some boots that the lady wants, a stick, and some cheese. I think we... You might have been gypped. Then. No, I'm giving him the ring. Jesus. Here, have the ring. Thank you. Good. Let's go to 12E. Well, Orlando, I guess that's that. We'd better be on our way. And I've got my trinkets and uh, my cheese. Oh, good. You're sounding remarkably more with it. Well, it has been six hours since I've done this. Hmm. I feel better now. Although very hungry for some reason. Hmm. I can eat that cheese. No, I think we need to hold on to that. You been reading forward again? No, no, it's just a plot important item. You can have the crackers, though. Hmm. <laughs> what happened to the boots? Uh, I'm wearing them. Wait, didn't the elf lady take them? No. Did you mug her? No, I just said there was a magic horse over there and she just wandered off. Useful. Yeah. Was there a magic horse? Yeah. No. Oh. You sure? Yeah. Sure. No. I'll scorch you. You can't anymore. The ones ran out of charges. Uh, well, who says one with one charge anyway? <laughs> anyway, no sooner that they are out of the shop, the dome head appears at the door and starts shouting. Thief! Thief! Stop that thief! We did a perfectly logical and reasonable transaction and I want my stuff back! No, my cheese! Quick, run! Four heavily armed guards come running and you decide to make a run for it too. As you are unlikely to get any justice in a town that is full of rogues, as Eastwater, or Hillington, seems to be. You dash along an alley until you come into a turning. If you want to turn left, go to 17. If you want to turn right, go to 6. <gasps> Okay, so that's that's as far as we're gonna go for this one. But uh, we want to do suspense, suspense, drama, decisions. But Ooh. elves, elves, horses, or elves, magic elves on high. Lemons, baked elves, scorching of pigs. <laughs> um, but we will, what we will quickly do is cover the other choices we've had in this one, just so, so you know what would have happened should we have actually not failed. Um, we'll do dome heads first. So what you can do. Uh, uh, where are we going? The first thing to do is the other trade, which would be uh, the potion visibility, which is 12C. No, 12B. 12B. Which, in which case, he says... Oh, a potion of invisibility. That's exceptionally useful. For that, I will offer you the magic arrow of pointiness. The only mirror in the whole kingdom! Oh, this gold armour is rather dashing. Hmm, yes. And a dragon's tooth! How the hell suspicious. am I going to carry that? It's like 20 feet tall. It's remarkably very similar to a human tooth. But oh. a dragon's! Wait a minute. This is just a tooth. I'm well, not, well, I'm not doing done. this trade. This well, sucks. Well, trade's done. I've already got it. Bye! We're closed! Bye! Bastard. Now I'm going to turn invisible and steal all the gold in the kingdom! <laughs> Little does he know I gave him the elf elixir. <laughs> that's him fucked. Oh, <laughs> magical, magical carpets of green and gold. Oh, oh no, I'm having a bad trip. Ooh, oh, maybe he drank a bit too much. Uh, no. Oh, well, he tried to screw me. <laughs> you might want to have a lie down, love. I think he's dead. Hmm, oh, well, I'll just take the rest of his stuff. <laughs> Looting. And of course, if you want to go to 12D, which is asking Domehead about the Howling Tunnels, he says... Oh no, you won't get me to tell you about that awful place. Not a chance. No, not at all. Now, if you don't mind, I've got things to do. Goodbye. 
But I wanted to trade swag. Well, unfortunately, I am all swagged out. Edge? Yes? Unswag this man. With pleasure. Oh, no, I can't do that. He's got the ultimate defense to my rapier wit. What's that? He's ugly. Edge, swag to that man. <laughs> oh, no, he's already gone. Something about muttering and following you and... I have the worst sword. Okay, I'm back at 19 with the Skull Beast, uh, in case you wondered what the other choice was. If we win, we have this line. If you wish to inspect the Skull Beast body closer, go to 19E. Well, that was worth it. Yay! Let's go to 19E! Wow. Oh, wait, we've seen this one. Gosh. So they, didn't, they don't even bother describing your battle. <laughs> they don't, do they? But what about <laughs> they go, oh, you did it, alright. I think whatever. we should do a dramatic uh, recreation. Ugh! But what if we were so rubbish that we could not have found that magical firebirds changing colours and thus had not got the ring of light? Bear in mind we totally missed it on the first picture when we said it wasn't there. It wasn't there. It was drawn in later by the interwebs. We totally missed it. Shh. And then we claimed it wasn't there. Shh. And then everyone told us it was. Shh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> anyway, as the Skull Beast closes in, you roll out of the way and then jump back on your feet. Whoop! Uh, clutching your wounded neck. Ah! Uh, you step. Wait. Wait. I thought we died. We don't die? No, we don't die. What the hell's the point of the ring then? Uh, so that we can loot. So I can get fit swag. Okay, fine. <laughs> Alright then, but suddenly the Skull Beast loses interest in you because it has some sort of interest issues. And chases after a young dwarf who was oh, watching... Oh, don't the toss me! Don't toss me! He says as he runs away. Exactly. Your battle from the safety of a barrel and was foolish enough to climb out. <laughs> oh god, there's a massive monster! If I stay in here, I'll be perfectly safe. No, if I'm gonna get out of the barrel. I mean, if he has just stayed in the barrel, he would have suffered a worse fate when the next hour comes by and the massive barrel-throwing monkey comes through town. The best bit, though, is that he gets out of the barrel and runs off. Wasting no time, you leave the alley for the main street. So we're not going to rescue the poor dwarf that has been nope. chased. Oh, um, you know what? I just realised I'm incredibly racist. Fuck dwarfs, let's go. <laughs> well, you are a little stoned at that point. <laughs> it's true. And then you go to 12, which uh, is where which we got to. So yeah. then, and that's it. Uh, what you got to do then, if we want to go, uh, we want to turn to the left, we go to 17. If you want to turn to the right, you go to 6. Where are we going to go? Left or right? The <gasps> choice is yours. Da, da, da. And of course, being a games book, the choice ultimately doesn't matter. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. It might do. It might do. Da, da, da. It might do a little bit, yeah. yeah. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. Uh, thank you for my co hosts I suppose, is the best word for it. Yay! Yay! Thank you very much, guys, and until then. See you later. Bye. Yep. You're right, Prince. I am Lady Helena. I understand you come seeking my help. Dark Moon and his orcs are our enemy too. Ask and I will do what I can. I have a question first, my lady. Is that my bit? Well, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just ad-libbing at this point, so yeah, I mean, we, could, we could do, but yeah. Question first. Yeah, alright. <laughs> Hold on, we're going right. to do that again. Hold on. <laughs> and drink this potion. Oh, sorry. Do it again. <laughs> and drink it again. I think the lemons are getting to her. Yeah, I sorry, think she's had too many lemons. <laughs> my lips fell off. <laughs> okay. We'll help you find them, it's okay. I've had, I've had too many lemons today, boys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just I think it's many. also the purple haze you keep sitting in. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, my head. Oh, my head. <laughs> somebody, get, somebody get me some paracetamol. <laughs> somebody get me some paracetamol. I'll be, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Okay, now, where were we? And drink this potion of good fortune to bring you good luck. Follow your heart and you will win over the evil that threatens us all. Do you really Ooh, want to drink that potion? I'm, are you sure it's safe? I mean, you just you pulled it out of your dress. It's bubbling. I mean, it looks kind of lemony. I think there's something living in it. Is that a worm? Oh, oh, wait, wait. On the back, there's a bit that says that by holding this potion, you are contractually obligated to drink it. Oh, well. It also says it can turn me into a llama. I've seen this in a film before. Uh, Any resemblance a... to tequila is purely coincidental. It's only a 3% chance it will turn you into 
into alarm, but there's a 1% chance that you will become a rare gold version of Goldhawk. They could call this you Blue potion Hawk. has been proven to work in several clinical trials and has been approved by the ASA for advertising purposes. Well, well, what, what, did you, what did you uh, test it on, exactly? Elves. I see. That explains oh, a lot. Are you by any chance an elf, Goldhawk? Not yet. Oh. Oh, well. Bottoms up. Where? Silence fool! <laughs> Please continue. First, you must go to a place of evil itself. I am unable to name that place for contractual, for contractual reasons. For contractual reasons. Shall I do that again? Uh, that's Should the entire thing. All oh, right, and drink from drink the potion. Uh, yeah, potion the potion of good fortune to bring you good luck. Bit hold on, <laughs> <laughs> it's all gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have stopped. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It, it gets confusing when you just make stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> it's really only okay. stuff. <laughs> All right, hold on a sec. You walk bo oh, bollocks. It should be gold hawk walks bodily. No way. Hold on. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's try again. Fighting is worked out. No, no, you missed a bit. Of work. No, I no, you did. You did. You missed the skull beast. I hope it hates the pig. I've already done that bit. Did you? Yes. Did you do the will protect you? Don't worry bit. Yes. Are you sure. I said will protect me. Don't worry. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> Look who got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. And of course, uh, I've just put record button when I didn't mean to. Oops. Yay! Yeah. Oh, oh it's quite lip really Ouch. The story's so manly, it cracked his lips. It did. I'm. You know, this book is killing me. Ah. Oh.